Her daddy was Judge Harlan P. Gillette. And then they, they was like the Adams is now. Owned most everything, including the best stables and horses hereabouts. I worked for him. Took care of his stable, trained his horses. Julie was the judge's only child. You know better than that. There's nobody around. You can't be too sure. You worry too much. Well, somebody has to. You sure don't. <laughs> What's this? A harmonic. Thank you. Let's go riding, just the two of us. Nah, I can't. I gotta. I gotta finish my chores. Please. I can't. Come on. Come on. I always had a way that one did. She was the one that started me to ride. Train timber horses. Hey, Leonard, where you been? <laughs> I don't know. So timber horses. What's that? Jumpers. Originally, uh, horses that could jump over fallen trees in the woods were called timber horses. Name stuck. Yeah, she loved to ride. I loved her. So what happened? Oh well, I knew it couldn't be. And, you know, those days, folks thought different about that kind of thing. And I guess I just couldn't help myself. I'm going to marry you. Dreamer. I am. Somehow I just don't think the judge is going to take to you marrying some colored stable boy. All I know is that I love you, and that's enough for me. Ain't enough for your family. My family isn't marrying you. I am. This is beautiful. Why are you giving it to me? Because you're going to wear them in the derby. I'm going to enter you on our horse. Hey, you were pretty buff then. Buff? You know, built. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I worked hard back then. But you did ride in the derby. True. That was later, though. So you never got married? No, we never got married. Picture of a champion. Mm. I can see the papers now. Houston Jones wins the Derby Cup. Yeah, you got enough imagination for both of us. I'll give you that. It'll happen. Julie. Promise. Promise you will. For me. I promise. And after you accept your winnings, we'll announce our engagement. We'll send out engraved invitations and the papers will run the That's notice. That's not gonna happen, Julie. Not here. I'll make it happen. No, you won't. You can't change people's minds. I don't care how much money you've got. Nobody's ready for the likes of me marrying the richest white girl in the county. You can't change facts. You can't stop me. I'm going to tell my father now, tonight. Julie, wait. Julie, wait. Don't do this. This is not the time. J Julie! That's why you only raced one time. I promised her, and I kept my promise. The judge knew that I was the last one to see her alive. So did the sheriff. Lord, what a mess that was. Took to the bottle right after that. Come back to my home place, and ain't left since. 
riding the derby is the absolute best feeling a man can have. That and falling in love. Both of them like sailing in the wind. Mm. You ever think about riding the derby? Uh, no. Not really, I don't know anything about it. You didn't know nothing about baseball neither before you tried it. Yeah, but even if I did, I could never beat Randy Adams. You know that, do you? No, everybody knows that. Oh, uh, I guess I missed it in the news. Come on, you know what I mean. He's got the best horses, he's got the best trainer, he's got the best everything. Rich. Don't mean nothing. He just hasn't had suitable competition. Can I ask you something? Oh, yeah. Do you, or you know, have you ever trained somebody to ride in a steeplechase? Nah, I train horses. I don't train people. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Nobody's ever asked me before. Are you asking? Yeah. Upstairs and get washed before dinner. Go, go, go! Cookie thieves come in all ages, huh? But only one super size. Mm. 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 Did you talk to Patrick? If you can call it that. <laughs> I need details. Well, nothing. He just doesn't really know what he wants right now. Well, he is just 15. Well, he's three years away from college. He should be prepared. What? Did you know what you wanted to do when you were 15? Uh, actually, I did. I wanted to let her in baseball for four years and make the honor roll, go on to college on a scholarship, graduate, go to a farm system, and then on to the majors. Where you promptly destroyed your shoulder, left baseball, and became a wonderful daddy. Well, at least I had goals. How do you know Patrick doesn't? What are they, honey? Maybe he's sorting them out. I think Patrick is so much like you that that is why the two of you are butting heads. You ever think of that? I'm married to Dr. Phil. And you are a lucky man. Dinner's still 20 minutes, honey. I made my decision. I want to quit baseball. You love baseball. No, you do. I'm no good at it, never have been. The only reason I ever started is because you wanted me to. Then we'll work on it together. No, see, I want to try something different. In this family, we finish what we start. Honey. What do you want? Steeplechase. What? The Derby. <laughs> Horses are expensive, not to mention training and lessons. It won't cost a thing. It won't? Why? I know someone who will train me for free. Houston Jones? Yes, and I know you don't like him, no, but it's because you no, don't know no, him. No, if you give him a chance... No. Why? Because I said so. That's not a reason, that's an excuse. Isn't steeplechase dangerous? <laughs> not any more dangerous than getting hit in the head with the baseball. But you don't know anything about the steeplechase. 
so I'll learn. You asked me what I wanted to do, Dad. This is what I want to do. I know it's going to be hard, but anything worth having is hard. Isn't that what you always say? I just want a chance. Two months. And we'll see. Thanks. Yes. 